Hi there, my name's Tom Morgan and this is the Ubiquiti Unify AC in-wall access point. Now, this isn't really a review of the device because um, I haven't used the device yet, but this is the video that I wished existed before I bought this device, right? Because uh, there's lots of, so if you're, if you're like me, you have lots of questions that you want to go through and answer before you make a purchase. And even more so with a device like this one, the in-wall, because it requires you to make holes in your wall and it needs to be mounted in the right place. And often that involves a lot of preparation. So you will have a lot of questions around things like dimensions and depths. And certainly I did, and I didn't find good answers to them um, out on the internet. So I thought I would buy the AP um, kind of before I needed it. And that would then give me a chance to answer all these questions. And as part of that, I thought I'd do this video. So first of all, this is the new AC in wall. So you can tell that because it's um, five gigahertz dual radio. Uh, the other really easy way to tell is that the older models have, um, have RJ45 ports on the front. Um, this does still have the RJ45 ports there on the rear. I'll show you that in a minute. So, so this is the packaging it comes in. Um, obviously a kind of vanity packaging. This is the only thing I received. Um, so no additional cables or anything like that. It's designed to work with power over ethernet. So you can get power over ethernet, um, uh, you know, adapters. Um, but this is the only thing I got in the box. Uh, you can see as well the um, Ubiquiti hologram there. That's the kind of, um, so, you, so you know it's genuine. So we slide that off. Um, I've got the cardboard packaging here. Now I have already opened this once, just so you know. So um, if it looks slightly kind of out of place to how you'd expect it, I tried to put it back as, as best I could, but I, ne I needed to do it to put the holes in the walls. So um, so we have a, a case that comes off here, just kind of a cover and a manual. Um, and then the, the device itself. So the device itself, as you can see, is quite it's quite small. I'll do dimensions in a minute, um, and you can see the the two ports on the bottom. And I, and the idea I think is that once it's on the wall, this goes over the top of it because um, it looks nicer. So you'll need a um, an RJ45 Ethernet connection all the way in, so it's it's connected in there. And then when you've done that on the bottom, you get two um, two RJ45s. One is for um, power of ethernet and the and data and the other is just for data the other thing you get in the box which i wasn't sure whether you got or not and it's really good to see that you do is this mounting bracket now this mounting bracket is the main reason i did this video actually because this is the really important part if you're putting it on your wall you need to know the dimensions of this and the other thing i i was really um, unclear about was how big a hole you have to put in your wall because obviously you can't mount this flush against the wall um, because if you look at this device if you look at the um, the unit itself there's a protrusion here so you need to make a hole in your wall to match the protrusion now um, you'll notice as well there's a number of screws all the way around the outside so screw holes around the outside and in included in the pack are are some screws i think the idea of these is that they um, they're designed so they kind of fit pretty much any uh, any of the kind of you know sockets that that we have floating around the world. I was really unsure as to whether or not it would fit a UK one because obviously it's a US company and I didn't find any good details. I've actually got a UK. Um, it's not quite a back um, a socket here, but it's uh, it's one of those one of those sort of mounting boxes, um, and you can the distances here match up. So you can see actually that if you overlay it. There are um, the two screw holes here really nicely match up. So if I already had an existing um, uh, existing thing in the wall um, mounted into the wall like that, this would go really nicely over it. Um, I actually didn't. So I would, the, the idea was I didn't really want to drill and knock out um, a whole one, one gang space just for this. That seemed kind of crazy. What I thought was with this on the wall, so let's put like that. All I needed to do really was make a hole that's this sort of size so that when it's mounted flush against the wall and I screw it in, say, here and here, um, there'll just be enough space here and then behind that, obviously, a, a hole for the cable to run. So let's come on to dimensions then. So 
uh, I've got a, a tape measure here, so um, actual dimensions of the the box itself. I don't know how well you can do that, how well you can see that, but let me let me switch to a, a more brightly coloured tape measure here. Um, so the box itself is around eight and a half centimetres uh, wide and 14 centimetres deep. And the the screw holes, obviously there's a number of different configurations you can have the screw holes in. Um, what I will do is I'm gonna make a template for this um, that you'll be able to download. And that's probably the easier way of doing this, but just looking at these, the holes are roughly for the UK ones, they are like six centimeters distant. And then here you've got like a couple of options. You've got six centimeters, you've got uh, what looks like eight and a half. And then up here, you've got sort of 12 centimeters between those two. There's also these diagonal ones. Um, again, six centimeters across, uh, that's end to end, edge to edge there. So you have a number of different kind of options and when it's in, so let's just look at this. So the actual protrusion that goes back, just looking at the unit itself, um, it's around, or in fact, it's exactly one centimeter. Uh, the depth is exactly one centimeter. So in fact, with the box on as well, it's probably ever so slightly less. Um, yeah, it is kind of 0 point, 0 0.75, something like that. Um, but to be honest, if you were mounting this, uh, it's probably sensible to kind of go for a centimetre and then you've got a bit of play. Um, you don't want it, you don't want this bit pushing up against the brickwork or, or anything like that. So. so that's the general idea for, for installation. You, you make a big enough hole here, you mount it up against the wall. You then, uh, obviously your cable comes through here um, and you would plug in there, pop that on there two little screws in the pack. In fact, they include, the screws they include in the pack, the little, the little ones for mounting onto the, putting onto the mount, there's two types. They do a standard um, Phillips and then they do a security type as well. So if you've got one of those security screwdrivers, you could use those instead. Um, and they, that fits on there. And then when you're happy, this box um, just clips on, on top, um, just like that. And then that's up against the wall. Um, and in terms of look and feel, it's really nice. It's um, a nice sort of uh, silvery color here. This is plastic, obviously white. There's a Ubiquiti logo here. Um, and it's nice and discreet. You know, it's um, you wouldn't look out of place in a room. It, I'm putting it next to some electric sockets, so it kind of feels like it, it fits in there. So, so that's nice. Um, there's, some, there's some good information in the quick start guide, actually. Um, about uh, you know what's included. Uh, there's some stuff on the uh, on the on the software requirements, which I'm kind of not going to cover. All the whole software side of things and the controller, I'll talk about separately. Um, there's an LED here. You can see that wasn't actually obvious. Um, it's not particularly obvious on the back plate. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you can see, see the unit itself. There's an LED right here. So obviously when you cover it over, it shines through the, the mount. Um, and it tells you what the what the flashing LEDs mean. And then there's some stuff on the back plate here. Um, and you can see there's a couple of different configurations options they suggest um, for how to use the back plate, depending on, um, on obviously what matches with your holes. And then there's a load of stuff on the back. Um, some warranty stuff, some safety notices, liabilities, returns, compliance, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then here you've got some information on the actual installation um, around opening up the security tag, uh, tab, how to put the, the cable in, like I say, put the screws in, um, and that's it really. So, so that's what you get with the, um, with the Unify uh, AC in wall. Uh, access point um, hopefully that's been useful um, it's the those are all the things I wanted to know before I purchased this so um, so hopefully it's been useful that um, that you can have this again like I say I'm going to do a um, 
a template for this, I think, uh, something you can print out so you can see exactly the sizes of this and the holes um, as well. So, so if you are making holes in your wall, um, you can use the template ahead of time um, to do that so you're ready for when the, uh, for when the access point arrives.